Cupcake McQueen is one of those cars that you see in the movie and you're like, man, it'd be so cool to have a die cast of that. But you think, nah, Mattel's never going to release that. It's such a weird, just kind of temporary variation that he has in the movie. And sure enough, within three years of Cars 3 coming out, Mattel has given us Cupcake Lightning McQueen just as we had wanted when we saw the movie. I mean, they literally call him Cupcake McQueen and not some like McQueen with like frosting or white I don't know, goo. I love how they call it Cupcake McQueen because he literally is a cupcake. So welcome back, guys, to another Disney docket presentation. Of course, we have Cupcake McQueen here to review from Case E of 2020 Singles, which I unboxed this past Saturday. I'll put that link in the description below and the card suggestion pop-up in the top right-hand corner. In case you missed the video or just want to watch it again because it is pretty exciting, there were a lot of cool cars in that case. Not only some new ones, but also reissues of Jonas Carver's and Fair Game. And then the car that I will also be reviewing soon from the case is Silver the King. So definitely stay tuned for that. I just wanted to do McQueen first here though, because I feel like a lot of people really want to see him. So of course, I love the artwork. I mean, it's straight out of the movie, if not directly Photoshopped out of a frame and put here on the card. His expression looks identical. I also like how they show the black kind of tarmac detailing and upsplash that comes from racing. It's hard to describe that really, but he is in the funny flashback series. I love this little cartoon car. This is the first car I will be reviewing from this series. And so I haven't talked about this little icon they have here. It's kind of like one of the Tokyo Japanese cars that you see in the bathroom from Cars 2. That's what it reminds me of. But really, it's just kind of like a laughing emoji car. With all new cars coming from KC and onward, they will have this white Mattel logo versus a white background with a red Mattel logo. You can see here funny flashbacks in there. Yep, directly out of the movie. You can see how Cal Weathers and Bobby Swift pranked McQueen after you know he pulled some pranks on them and Shannon Spokes is over to the right interviewing him. You have Brickyardley's crew in the background, which is pretty sweet. Relive some of your favorite silly moments from the world of cars with these wacky racers. Now, it's not exactly true that they're all racers. You do have McQueen here, and I guess you can consider Kurt with bug teeth a racer because he is a Rusty's Racing Center trainee. But there's also Wasabi Mouth Mater in the series, and he's definitely not a racer. But yeah, at the time of this release, these are the only two ones available. And I will be reviewing Kurt soon in my review It'll be like a double review with Kurt and Kurt with Bug Teeth. You can actually see them there in the background along with some other cars that I will be reviewing soon. So yeah, I'll be right back with Cupcake Lightning McQueen all opened up. Now the singles case that Cupcake McQueen is in, Case E, that I talked about earlier on in the video, is being found across the United States at Target stores. So if you're in America, you're in luck. You have a pretty decent chance of finding the case at your local Target over the next few weeks here. It has started at the West Coast and is moving across the United States. So hopefully, you know, despite coronavirus delays and all that stuff, it still shows up at all of our stores. I haven't found it yet, but hopefully soon. As for people in Australia, they're getting in case F of 2020 singles, which is actually the case after E. And it also happens to include Cupcake McQueen, Silver the King, along with brand new releases of Silver Tim Treadless and Muddy Rusty's Racing Center McQueen, which you can see there in the background. So a lot of stuff going around right now. Hopefully you can find what you're looking for, but do be patient because of the virus out there. A lot of things are bound to get delayed late unfortunately so my european friends my canadian friends my friends down in central and south america not sure what's going to happen via the cases and all that stuff but hopefully stuff will reach you guys in 
soon as possible time frame. But anyways, let's get on to the video here with Cupcake Lightning McQueen. There he is in the movie, and this is the same image off the card back. I mean, they took directly from the movie. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. I really love. I just actually kind of rewatched the scene before doing this video and saw how Bobby like ran up to him and just absolutely creamed him. It was actually, it seemed like more of Bobby than Cal, but I think they were both in on it. And I also would not be surprised if Cal Weathers with those inflated tires gets released in the funny flashback series in the next few months here as maybe a deluxe. I'm a little hesitant to say he's going to be a single just because he looks kind of big in that picture in the movie. Plus, you know, Mattel, they're going to try and squeeze the maximum profit out of everything possible. But anyways, getting on to the review here of Cupcake McQueen. Let's take a look here at his outer plastic cupcake shell first. They actually did a phenomenal job with it, even though it is really just a plastic shell, but it has a nice texture to it, kind of soft, but irregular and misshapen because it really is just like frosting. The confetti sprinkles look really cool. How they're all different colors and shapes. Really, really nice. Now the mouth here is actually part of the plastic cupcake piece and not a hole where you can see his mouth, which is probably what they should have done, but I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second here. So the cupcake piece is removable. So you can take it off like that. And down under is just a regular old Rusty's Lighting McQueen. So this is the same exact car that you could get if you bought as advertised Rusty's Lighting McQueen, which is a little disappointing because he has his happy-go-lucky expression here, which really isn't accurate when you just get creamed in the face with cupcake frosting. I mean, you should have a ticked-off expression. And when you have the cupcake shell on, it looks like he's ticked off because of the mouth there on the shell. But what they really should have done is changed the expression on McQueen and then left a little hole here so it reveals his mouth. But of course they didn't do that, so that's a little upsetting. There's a little coat on the inside there, by the way. A little upsetting for sure, but it is what it is. It would have been so cool though, because then you would have like a normal Lightning McQueen with a kind of disgusted expression that you could use in stop motion for maybe when Jackson Storm came along. I do like also, though, I want to mention that they have these two little bars here, so it clamps on kind of nicely. It's just a really nice piece. This is really cool. This, however, they definitely could have done better with. Actually, we're not going to put that on just yet. I want to compare them to the Chinese Rusty's McQueen here. So, of course, eyes are different. I don't know why they look so grainy and dark. They really should look a little brighter than that, but oh well. The emblem there on the hood, the logo. It looks a little grainy, but it is Thailand. What are you going to do? I do have to say they are improving though, but they do struggle with smaller decals like the contingency sponsors here, Piss and Cup, Octane Gate, RPM, Revolting, and Clutch Aid. You can see those same exact ones up here, but just 100 times more clear. Just yeah, like I said, they struggle with smaller decals. Bigger ones like 95, Rusty's, they actually don't look that bad. Although along the edge here of his bolt, it honestly looks like it's been cut from a piece of paper. It looks so rough and like uneven and it looks like it's been glued on. It looks like arts and crafts there where this actually looks like a painted on logo. You guys know what I'm describing there. The roof looks pretty good. 95 Lightning McQueen signature roof flaps. You have the window bars there. And you also have the Rusty's logo on the spoiler. It's way bigger on the Chinese version. It's probably about 20% larger on the Rusty's version, which is interesting. There's the gas cap on each. And on the back here, you have Rusty's again, 95. You can see on the Thailand version, the gradient, like the yellow to orange, is way more faded. It's 
basically almost an entirely yellow text there whereas here you can clearly see how it starts red at the bottom turns into orange and then eventually yellow which is really nicely done i mean it gives us an appreciation for china which we really took for granted i mean because that's all we knew before we had nothing to compare it to and so now we have three different countries making cars well three countries that have made cars, China used to, and now we have Vietnam and Thailand, and they're just not as good as China. I mean, it really gives us an appreciation for Chinese cars. But anyways, I do want to compare, actually, we're gonna do something really fun here. We're going to try and see if this cupcake shell fits on other McQueens and other characters here. So let's start, which is Cars 3 Lady McQueen, it should fit. My concern is that the shell will be too narrow for a wider car. So like even the older version of McQueen. So it fits there, but it doesn't really look that different. But I'm worried about like the Cars 1 McQueen, which we'll try here. Um, there we go. That fits. Mm, it actually looks pretty sweet. Kind of like Rusty's Racing Center McQueen metallic. Got cupcaked. Maybe they were training and cruise. Cupcake McQueen. This really opens up a lot of possibilities. Since this is a removable piece, how about Prime or Lightning McQueen? Oh, he might be too wide. Yeah, I don't know why. He really should be the same model, but I'm gonna try again. Oh, it does fit nice. I just had to put a little more pressure on it. It looks interesting. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And I think this one will look the best. Can you guys guess? Fabulous Lightning McQueen. Cupcakes. Oh heck yeah, that actually looks really cool guys. I like the blue with the cupcake on top. That looks actually pretty sweet. All right, let's try some other characters. Well, first let's try Cars 1 McQueen. I am fearful it's too narrow, yeah. You can see here, it will not clamp all the way on that one side there, unfortunately. Darn it, that stinks. But, let's try Cal Weathers here and Bobby Swift. Mm, he looks to be a little too wide as well. Oh, it seems like he almost fits, but still, ah, too wide. What about Brick Yardley? This is a factory custom of Brick, by the way. That's why his paint job's a little darker. Oh, he does kind of fit with it. Not bad, not great, but I mean, I'll take it. It's so strange to see that. You're so used to seeing the piece on Lightning McQueen. It makes it so strange to see him on a different character. It's actually kind of cool though. And since I have a Lane Lock out here and he's the same model as Brick, might as well try it with him. See how Lane looks with it. Ooh, oh my gosh, Lane actually looks way better with it. I guess I just clamped it a little better. And he actually looks really good. Look at that, guys. So the Brick Yardley model works pretty well, too. That's actually awesome. There you go, more stop motion opportunities. You guys could have a whole stop motion around maybe the cars pranking Brick Yardley or one of the other racers like him. Awesome stuff. And just for laughs and giggles, we'll try Aaron Clocker here. He's definitely too wide, though. Oh, yeah, he's way too wide. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. As we close out here, I do want to show a few customs from Four Wheel Drive 7 that also have, like, coverings, I like to call it. I don't know. When I thought of Cupcake McQueen, it reminds me of these customs I have here that have, like, coverings, like I said. I don't know how to describe it. But, of course, the tuners with tar... I have Boost and Snot Rod here for comparison. And then the Tokyo Police car with the foam spray that uh, I think it was a blue pacer or was it Acer or somebody used on, oh no, it was Finn McMissile actually. He used on the police officer because uh, I think it's, oh my gosh, it's been so long since I watched that scene from the movie, but it was a whole Tokyo Alley chase scene where Finn McMissile was going after Acer and a few other lemons and somehow the police car got that foam on them. But yeah, all three of these, or all four plus 
the other tuners do kind of fall into a similar category. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.